Hello, this is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. And today is a warm, sunny day, which hopefully will be the end of our winter. Winter arrived here about two weeks ago with some snowstorms, and we finally have snow on the ground, which will hopefully disappear very quickly. So today I'm going to introduce you to a color along that I will be co-hosting this month. I'm very excited about this one because it's one of my all-time loves and that is Color by Numbers and it's also one of my favorite publishers, Belba Family. And so the hashtag for this color along is hashtag Belba in March and I will be co-hosting this with the lovely Shelly at The Stitching Colorist and the wonderful Lisa at Lisa's Coloring Corner. And I will leave their links down below. Make sure to visit their sites because they are both uh, addicted to color by numbers and uh, they do all sorts of different things on their channels. So I am going to show you the Belba Family books. I am pretty sure I have every book that they published. So we will, they're in no particular order except I'm going to show you their first two books first. So Belba hit the scene in 2019 and became a major player in the color by number. Uh, uh, genre. <laughs> there we go. That's the word I'm trying to think of. So these are the first two books that they came out with. Now, these are pretty much normal color by number books, except that they're done in kind of geometric shapes. I hope these, I hope these show up. I don't know if I need a light because it's so, so sunny today. That one, oh yeah, that shows up better than it did before. Okay, so um, yeah, these are animals and each animal has a name, like this is Barney the Squirrel. And this is Harry and Oliver the Penguins. And I did a few at the beginning here, I think. Did the zebra and the butterfly. And I thought I had done more than that. And normally with color by number books, I start at the beginning and go through, but sometimes the first picture I color isn't the first page. And then in the same mode, they came out with this one, which is Travel Mosaic, Amazing Landscapes and People. And this has pictures from all over the world and it's quite, um, they're quite unique pictures. Like this is a Bolivian woman. Uh, this is an Italian scooter. And this is a lodge in the mountains. So the types of things they have. I'll show you the ones I've done. Got in here. <laughs> Should have taken the papers out before. So here we go. This is Bodrum. I looked it up to see where it was and I can't remember. It was quite a while ago. Maybe it was um, Turkey. And I did this one here which is Paris. It goes this way. And I did this one, which is a bungalow. Seems like they're all going this way that I've done. That's a bungalow. This is close to the ocean. Uh, this one's a bit messy because if you know me, I have a disease called called coloring color color sleeping. I fall asleep and I color in my sleep. And then this one is a Mexican. That's the first picture in the book. So quite, I quite like this one. Of the two of their first books, this is my favorite one. 
And then they moved away from this type of book. And they've got two types of books that they do. One is regular color by numbers, and the other is their specialty, which is uh, pixel coloring, I guess is its original term. These books are called Mystery Mosaics, and they use a three by three millimeter, millimeter squares. So your pages are going to look like this. None of their books have examples of what the pictures look like at the back, so it's a complete mystery to you. But they do have tables of contents, which tell you what it is, though that not necessarily tells you what the picture, finished picture is going to look like because often there's scenes and there's stuff in the background, not just the main character. So not much to see when I show it to you this way, though you can kind of make out some things when you look through the camera. Now the great thing about these books is that they have the color palette at the bottom of each page. And the color palette, I should say the, yeah this is the bottom. The color palette is the same throughout the rest of their books. So all their books use the same 22 color coloring palette. And once you get going in their books, you start to memorize it. Now, I was sure I had done one in the middle of this. This is their very first uh, three by three grid book. No, I guess I just did a couple at the beginning. No. Oh. Okay, so I did this one right here, which is a, well, you can see what it is. And I did this one here. Uh, this is the cover one. It's this way. Look at the shadow down here. They're so detailed. And then I did the first one here. They're beautiful pictures. This is this is their first book, but it's also one of my favorites. It competes with another one in here. I'll show you. That's their that's my favorite. And so these have a table of contents. For example, the ones that I did here, this is called balcony. So you know you're gonna have a balcony, you've got some idea of what you're gonna color, but you're not you're not going to know what the picture is until they're done. And that's one of my favorite things about uh, these kind of um, mystery, these mystery mosaic books and others like them, is that uh, it's, more, it's kind of like a puzzle because you don't know what they're going to look like. So this one's called Ballerina. This one was called Bulldog after the dog sitting right here. And the book is called Passion, and that refers to people's passion about things. You know, passion of, uh, of ballet, of travel, of dogs, you know, certain hobbies and such and such. Now the rest of the books are in no particular order. So this one is called Gallery, and it shows famous uh, artwork. Oh, I should show you the back of the book. The back of the books are all the same. They have your color palette here. The color palette is everywhere in these books. You get it. You get a page at the front, which I, which I cut out, which... Okay, so not all of their books have the palette on the bottom. Some of them do, and some of them don't. So, uh, yeah, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So you've got the color palette at the front, and it's a cutout page for you. It's on the back, and it's sometimes on the page themselves. And I only did one or two in this one. Um, funnily enough, they were both Van Gogh, the one I did. So these ones uh, tell us what... The picture actually is. So this is Red Poppies and Daisies by Vincent Van Gogh, and it also tells us what the highest, what the the last uh, selling price of the picture was. So that's sixty. This one is sixty one thousand eight hundred dollars, and this one is a portrait of Doctor Gachet by, you know, I said this wrong. It's Vincent Van Gogh. 
82,500. And I think that's all I did. Did I do the first one? No. So that's what I've done in this one. Now, yeah, I was showing you the backs and I forgot to mention that they'll show an example of three of them on the back. So the next one is my other one that vies for attention as the uh, favorite book. This one is called Woman and of course it's pictures of women. So again we can see on the back we've got some examples of what some will look like. We've got a color palette, we've got a cut out page. I don't need those in there. Do we have a cutout page when they put them in the bottom? No, this one doesn't have a cutout page. So yeah, you're either going to get a cutout page or you're going to get... <laughs> I don't want to show you pictures yet. Or you're going to get the palette at the bottom of each page. Alright, so now these ones don't tell us what they are. What we've got is a quote by famous people about women. And this says, modern paintings are like women. You'll never enjoy them if you try to understand them by Freddie Mercury. Now, they're usually funny ones like that. I'm pretty sure I did one in the middle of this book. Uh, you know, I can't remember. Okay, so I did this one. Is this the only one I've done? Okay, so I did this one. And it says, women want love to be a novel, men a short story, Daphne du Maurier. Okay, and then I did this one using the cross stitch method, or the X method. Now, I didn't like it when I did it on this picture. When you do them, they are faint in the cross-stitch method. A lot of people have really taken taken to this. When you watch Lisa's introductory video, you will see that she does this. She switched to this method. I'm, you know, in the middle about it. We'll see in another book that I have, uh, I have done it and liked it better than I did with this one. So this one says, if a girl looks swell when she meets you, who gives a damn if she's late? Nobody. And that was by J.D. Salinger. Okay, then they have put out two mandala books, and they are called Square Mandalas. And these are square books, which I am so thankful for. Because in, let's just look at this. In an 8.5 by 11 or A4 book, your mandala can only be a certain width, which means it can only be a certain height because they are, you can draw a square around them even though they're a circle, right? So if you get that, then there's no point for having the extra part of the book. So I absolutely love authors and illustrators and publishers who do mandala books in squares. So, so thankful for that. I think I've only done one in here. They have so many books that uh, it's just, you always want to work in the newest one. Okay, so I did this, and I did the traditional method, which you'll find I do on most of my books. And did I do the first one? Jeez, I really need to do more work in these. I was positive I had two in here, but it's not. And I just received this. I um, ordered this one right away as soon as I saw it because I wanted to have it for this color along. So this, this is Square Mandala's book number two, and it is Animals in Patterns. And as we can see on the front, that our mandalas are going to have animals in them. And our example shows us six this time, and we can see the, the animals are in the middle of them. I don't believe the mandalas have the, yeah, the mandalas don't have the color code at the bottom of the page. They probably have a tear out page yet. There we go. And again, it's the same 22 colors. 
then they have the book Dogs. Which, there's nothing on this side of the page. The palette is at the bottom. The table of contents tells us what the breed is. So if I start reading from the beginning here, we've got American Bulldog, American Staffordshire Terrier, Basset Hound, Bordeaux Dog, etc. And they all have names like Steve, Norman, and Tony, and etc. So these, I've, these are really nice. I've seen a few of them done. And I'm not particularly a dog lover, so I wouldn't run out and get the newest dog book. But I really like these and appreciate it because the dogs are set against backdrops. There's something going on in the picture or they're set somewhere. It's not just a dog, a dog against a wall with a bowl, dog bowl which a lot of dog pictures are. So I think I only did get around to one in this one. There we go. I did this one. And I really, really like it. This is, uh, if I remember correctly, <laughs> people are going to kill me if I say it wrong, but I think it's a Jack Russell Terrier. And all the dogs in here are real life dogs. This is the dog in the movie, The Mask. Now let me check and see if I was right. Yes, and his name is Milo. And that is the only one I did in here. Okay, now finally I get to show you their other style, and they've only done two books. I am positive I'm not missing any, so it looks like they've only done two this way. These books here they publish in both a color by number version and in a uh, regular coloring book without any pictures in it. As, and this book that I have right here in the money book, um, it has got a new cover which more resembles what it's about because as it says here, an adult magic book with money and richness symbols to color. So the book is full of symbols which are recognized as meaning money or wealth. An example here we have the uh, Buddhist uh, lucky, lucky cat. This is just a lot of wealthy things that were money. We have a pot of riches, pot of gold, dragon, money tree. This is money tree as well. With such things like that. Now, I have done this one right here, which is the money toad. I've not heard of that. And don't tell me that's the only one I did near do. Oh, it's so embarrassing. So yes, it's hard to keeping up with them. And the table of contents for this one tells you what you're going to color. Such as aquarium with goldfishes, cornucopia, dog, Ganesha, and this is called lucky toad with coin. This must be a Chinese symbol too because it's got the coins with the squares in the middle, which you put on a piece of string. And then we have the Christmas one, which is one of my favorites as well. What am I doing? Yeah, I don't want these pages in here anymore. So this is the Christmas and travel mosaics. So what we see in this one is Christmas from all around the world. And it's quite a unique Christmas book. All the pictures seem to be sideways. Okay, so I've done this one, which is Finland. And here we have one nativity picture in here. So for um, Christians, we've got our picture right there. Uh, and then this one is in Italy. Oh, this is another Christian picture with angels. I like that one. And this one 
which I'm going to say is America. <laughs> now, let's see. It doesn't, it doesn't call it American in here, but it's called All Dreams Come True. The other one's called Angels. And Babbo Natal in Italy. So we get an idea of what it is. And that, my friends, is I am 99.9% .9 sure all their books. So we've got Christmas and Travel Mosaics, The Money Book, Dogs, Square Mandala Book, Two Animals, Square Mandala's Book One, Woman, Gallery, Passion. And their first two books, Travel Mosaic, I recommend that one of these two, and Animal Mosaic. I recommend them all. You can see I've colored in each one, though maybe not as many times as I should. There are a lot of books here for, uh, for them being in business since 2019. And so I am looking forward to working with these ladies, Shelly and Lisa. I'll put their um, links down below and join them and me in celebrating the Belva family set of Color by Number books. Thank you for joining me. And in the meantime, until next time, bye!